We're playing tag across Europe. We're in Charleville, France, but that bell means it's 6 a.m. and Ben's the runner, so he's got to go, 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 Ben. Go, Ben. Go, Ben. Go, team Ben. Bye, Ben. Bye, Ben. Okay, we're here in Charleville, of course, because no tag backs, right? So we've yeah. got to stay stationary, or basically stationary, for 45 minutes. So we've actually got a lot of good amount of time to plan and strategize and explain what this is all about, Thanks. while Ben goes off to, uh, I guess, Germany, probably, or Netherlands, or Belgium, or something. We're in Charleville, Mezier, France, because it's the approximate midpoint between our three finish line locations. In this game, Ben's trying to get here to Borkum, Germany, Adam's trying to get here to Jersey, UK, and I, Sam, am trying to get here to Zermatt, Switzerland. While you're the runner, you can move towards your location. If you successfully reach your location, you win immediately. Otherwise, the win goes to whoever's location is closest to the runner at the end of three days, which you can tell looking at these win areas. But while you're running, the other two are IT, aka chasers. They'll have a live tracker on the runner and will work together to tag them. After a tag, positions rotate. The runner becomes a chaser, and the next chaser becomes the runner. All of which is why Ben needs to get out of Charleville Mezier as soon as possible. Okay, step one. I gotta get out of Charleville. On my way to the train station, I was looking at all the trains, and we're in a pretty small town. Charleville's pretty small, so there aren't that many trains leaving around now at 6 a.m. But there is a train to Lille that leaves in about 20 minutes. It's in the right direction, and the key is, it doesn't seem like there's another train to Lille for a while, which means that I'll be pretty safe there hopefully, for a little while. I think he's gonna get on the 625 to Lille. We can't get to Lille for a long time. Mm -hmm. If he does that... Do we go straight to Brussels? I kinda think we go straight to Brussels. Whoa. That classic bell to indicate that it's 6.14 a.m. Okay, okay, I've made it to the train station. The train is here. So I'm gonna grab a seat. Okay. He's definitely on the track to wheel. It's just like a really slow train, which is really unfortunate for Ben because you have to pay for transit by the minute, not yeah. by distance. Quick explanation time. When you're the runner, if you want to take any form of transportation other than walking, you have to purchase it from the shop using coins. One minute of low-speed rail is 10 coins, one minute of high-speed rail is 25 coins, and so on. We each start with 2,000 coins, but to earn more coins, the runner must complete a randomly drawn card from the challenge deck. If they complete the challenge, they'll earn the reward. But if they fail to complete it or choose to veto it, they can only walk or run for the next 30 minutes. Okay, so I've just boarded my uh, train to Lille. I spent 1,500 coins on 150 minutes of low-speed rail. Um, and I started with 2,000 coins, so by the time I get to Lille, uh, as you may have realized, uh, I'm gonna be close to out of coins. He'll have to spend 1,500 coins just to get to Lille, which means that if he then wants to get to Brussels, that's 34 minutes on high-speed rail, but so he'd have to do a challenge in, in Lille. Lille. Oh, so we need to be optimizing for Lille. Well, here's the thing. We still can't get there very fast. But I wonder if we take this bus to hear song, can we then get to Lille? So there is a train that we could get to in hear song that goes direct to Lille after. Uh-huh, that's interesting. That's interesting, but that's a risk. It gets in at 9.55. He'll get into Leo at 8.55. So that's, I don't know. He'd have an hour. An hour is enough to do a challenge and get out of there. Okay, it's just about to be 6.45. And I, even though I'm on a train and I'm totally safe, I, like, my heart is racing. Um, our 45 minute prison time ends in like 25 second, seconds. Yeah. Um, ben is definitely going to Lille, and our plan is we're gonna take a bus to Hearson and then a train to Lille. We'll get there like an hour after him, uh, but I think that um, he's gonna be stuck there doing a challenge and we'll be able to catch him right away. I hate when there are people in our vlogs. <laughs> yeah, it's so awkward. It's so awkward. All right, wait, wait, is it? It's not time yet. Okay. We are literally gonna have to run to this train. It leaves in 12. Oh, here we go. See, that's the, there that's you the go. bell thing. This the first that's time it was on time. Legit.
Okay, well, Sam and Adam are off. They're hunting me. It's scary, it's scary being hunted. I, I don't know if you can relate. Comment below if you've been hunted by men for sport. I'm wearing my uh, Danny Ricardo hat this season to remind myself that it's all right if you lose constantly, as long as you have fun while you're doing it. <laughs> Right? Who's Danny Ricardo? It's fine, you won't get that reference. The main thing now is we have to figure out, it's a bus, but it seems to be run by the train company. Yeah, I don't know how that so works. We have to figure out where it leaves from. Okay, do you think it's that? Yeah, it, that's the only bus I see, and it says SNCF on it, so it must be that bus. Okay. Hey there. Well, we're, this bus leaves in seven minutes. I don't think There's it's gonna not be too busy. There's not a single soul on it. Yeah. I know we just started the game, but my legs literally already hurt. When we, so we all flew into Paris yesterday, and Sam was like, you know what would be fun? Let's go on like a little scenic walk in Paris. And we were like, yeah, that'll be fun. And Sam took us, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put up a picture of what these stairs look like. We walked up this, he brought us up this, and I'm convinced he did this to sabotage us, because he lives near the mountains. He's always mountain biking and hiking and stuff, and so he was fine, but I, I am not fine. All right, where is he? Uh, it's updating. No. Oh. That... Is, is that on the... That's not on the train line. That's not on the train I'm, line. That must be a... That must be a an error. error. He couldn't have gotten there that quickly. No, no. I mean, that's gonna be an interesting thing about these tractors, is they are not perfect. Yeah. Okay, let's do a little Q&A. Let's, let's answer some of your questions. Um, Mayor Video asks, I'm probably the only person who finds Ben and Adam extremely annoying. I'm sorry, Mayor Video, that is not a question. I've always wondered how they make wind. What? Okay. Bienvenue à Lille. Merci, au revoir. Merci. So, so our train is until 8.07. Yeah, we have a little bit of time. Um, do you want to see if we can like get a croissant or something? Petit pain au chocolat. I just want to say that I'm pretty sure that Ben doesn't know that we can do this, so I really hope that there's footage that we can cut to right now of Ben saying something along the lines of... I don't think there's a way for them to get here, but I'm still so nervous. Um, Okay, so here's the deal. I don't know where I'm going. I've been navigating with just like cardinal directions and vibes, but looking at a map, it seems like the next places I might wanna go would be Brussels or Ghent. Um, there's a train to Ghent in about an hour. There's a train to Brussels in like an hour and a half. But either way, I don't have enough coins for either of those trains. So that means that it is time for me to pull a challenge card and earn some more coins. So let's do that. Okay, so I've got the deck, it's all shuffled. So I'm just gonna pull the top card and whatever it is, that's the challenge I gotta do. I can veto it and be stuck here for an extra half hour before I pull my next card, but hopefully I won't have to veto it. Oh, here we go. My card is eat at the worst restaurant. Okay, I have to find the worst reviewed restaurant within two miles of where I am right now and go there and eat something. So let's go do that. Okay, so it was surprisingly difficult to sort for worst restaurant uh, on TripAdvisor for some reason, but the, the, the worst reviewed restaurant that is currently open within two miles of me is this place, uh, Le Club Sandwich Cafe, uh, which warns me to be careful with the girl. So I guess I will go there and be careful with the girl. This is pretty luxurious, having every method of transport so far to ourselves. Yeah, it's kind of nuts. Yeah. It also makes me feel a lot less bad about um, filming, because I'm not bothering anybody. Right, yeah, it's great, love it. It's gonna be a lot worse when there's like a bunch of people around and I'm still having to film. <laughs> yep. 
Fortunately, it's only about a 10 minute walk from here. So I think I'm gonna make really good time on this challenge. And this is actually really good because um, we did not have time to eat yet today. And I don't know when else I was gonna eat. So having an eating challenge, even if it is the worst restaurant, is pretty exciting. So I'm doing this all covertly since Adam's gonna become my competitor after we tag Ben. But of course, as we're going, I'm like looking and researching about what the best move is in Lille for me to do since I'm next as the runner. Um, I'm trying to, I think the catch is gonna happen in Lille. I'm also gonna research a little bit in Brussels, but I always have to keep an eye towards, you know, the next thing when I'm gonna become the runner. Okay, so I lost audio during this entire time that I was in Lille, so I'm just gonna walk you through what happened. Basically, I went to Le Club Cafe, I looked at some sandwiches, I picked one of the like two sandwiches that was available. I got that and a very lukewarm mojito. Uh, I ate the sandwich, it was a bad sandwich. Um, I don't, I don't know what else to say besides that. I don't know what was in it. I don't think I can really describe it. It just had a kind of an, an orange goo inside of it. And it was, it was very hot and very bad. Um, but I housed the sandwich fast enough that I was able to make the earlier route to Ghent. So that's what I decided to do instead of waiting for the train to Brussels. Um, and, and yeah, that's all you need to know. Just enjoy watching me suffer through this. Um, and back to the show. So I just want to show that it looks like he's headed back to the station, which could be a problem because we don't get there for 15 minutes. I mean, we don't get there for 20 minutes. Actually. He couldn't get on the train for, to Brussels, but he could get on another train. Ben is right in front of the station. That's the station that we'll be at in 10 minutes. I think this is gonna be tight. It looks like he's going for a train. You think so? Yeah, the question is, is that train in the next 10 minutes? Can we intercept him? Oh once man, we get there? that is gonna be tight. Yep, well, let's see. Oh, I really hope he's not about to get on a train. Okay, so I'm getting on this train to Court Rye, and then I'm transferring there on a train to Ghent. Now I just figure out where this train is. Oh, oh he just moved into the train station. Oh, yeah. So yeah, we gotta be covert as we get uh -oh. off this train. Let's see. Oh man, he's definitely about to get on a train. Yep, but is it in the next nine minutes? Oh man. <laughs> I've got my ticket. That'll cost me 360 coins because it's 36 minutes on low speed rail. Ooh. I'm gonna get caught, it's gonna be like right here. Standing around waiting for this train. And there are huge crowds of people, so it's gonna be impossible to see them if they're here. Five minutes away. I'm a little worried he's going to a platform. Oh, oh. Kind of looks like he's going to a platform. Don't go to the platform. Unless he's exiting. All right, the train is here. I'm gonna get at least another stop without getting caught. Oh man, my heart is pounding. He's over so, there. Okay. He's definitely on a platform. Okay. Wait, wait, hi, hi. He's on the train. He's on the train. So we need to get on that train and find him. He's, he's, he's on the train blue right train. train? I believe so. Wait. Okay, all right. That's a good question, there's two trains. Man, I'd be so bad to f that up. It's unclear. It's unclear? No, there's two. Would he be going to Tournai or to Courtrai? I think Tournai because I think that's a train to Belgium. I'm getting on this train to Courtrai. Okay, we need to be quick because those are gonna leave soon. And if he's not on one, then we need to be able to check the other. Let me check where Tournai is. Tournai's in Belgium. So okay, 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 okay. Then so let's go to Tournai. So blue and white. Okay, okay. No, that's that's on track 15. That's to Courtrai. Tournai is on 11. No, it's not very This is 13. Where's track 11? Track 11's here. That's 11. That's track 11. 
Yeah. And he's on this? Okay, okay. we need a ticket. They are? We need a ticket. We need a ticket? Okay, then just you have your phone. Book a ticket, book a ticket, book a ticket. We're sure it's this one. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yep. Where are you going? To Portray. Portray, yes. Thank you. Get here so fast. Where's Adam? He's uh he's making sure you don't run off the platform. Okay, well let's get off the freaking train then. We got him! How you feeling, buddy? I really didn't think you guys could get here. I was like, and I was still, I was like, I'm gonna get on the, the fastest freaking train I can get on. I was like. Man. Ah, man. All right, here, come on. Come over here. I just don't want that ticket inspector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I walked on that train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it turned out there was a bus to hear a song. Yeah. Give the cards a shuffle so we can hand them off to Sam. I don't want to give them one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want it to be my turn. How's your budget feel like? Better or worse than when you started? It would be pretty amazing if it was with this guy. That's interesting. <laughs> the cards. Mercy. And it is... Oh, I'm going? 10.07, which means that we can start chasing you at 10.52. Oh, you're saying my time started? Your time starts now. Bye. All right, make sure to film yourself. See you in your Oh, Sam Denby started sharing his location. With Ooh, me. how exciting. I'm worried he's gonna be too good at this game. He sure does know a whole lot about trains. It would it would look like Sam is already on a uh, on a, a little train. Wait, what? He's already on a train? Well, it looks like he's on a train, doesn't it? What the hell? Where is he going? He might be going west. He's going west? Why would he go west? West is the one way he doesn't want to go. The man is going northwest. Okay, just to be clear, northwest is the exact opposite of the direct of the way to Zermatt. The man should be going southeast, but he is going northwest. I, mean, I just don't. I'm so confused about where the f he is. Okay, that worked out perfectly. So I want to explain the move I just pulled. Basically, I think Ben messed up. I think Ben made a bad move. He spent a ton of budget to travel really far on a low-speed train to do one challenge and end up with less budget than when he started. I think that the thing to do right now is to grind through challenges, earn budget, that, so that we can do a really robust, high-speed, and that's the key thing, high-speed run, which costs more to our location. Three minutes after I was looking, it turned out there was a train to Calais. Trains to Calais, they seem to only go every few hours. So after this, there's not another train to Calais for two hours, and there doesn't seem to be another means of transportation. So I think I'm gonna have a two-hour safe window in Calais to just grind through challenges um, while Ben and Adam just wait around. Um, so that's perfect. We think we figured out what train he's on. It's this, he did this shape. So I think he's on this train to Calais Veal. I don't know why though, cause that's like the opposite direction. Yeah. Calais is like all the way Northern France. Maybe he just thinks that we won't be able to get there. It's interesting. And maybe he's right. Can we get there? There's a train scheduled at 12, 13. It's the same train. It's not amazing. And that gives him a two-hour head start. All right. We are in Calais, the closest French city to Britain, only about 30 miles away. Um, and right now, 
I have to commit an American crime. <laughs> I've done a bunch of research on the train, and it, uh, there's a pretty easy one, it turns out. In almost all of the US, including Colorado, where I'm from, it is illegal to drink in public. In most of Europe, including France, it is illegal to drink alcohol in public. Therefore, what I'm gonna do is drink alcohol in public. Okay, we're out of jail. We're back, we're on the hunt. I'm gonna put on my hunt glasses. <laughs> so here's our logic. He's going to collect. We could get to Calais by 1.30. And he probably knows that. And he is gonna figure that out. Which I think means he will take a train leaving Calais before 1.30. And in terms of, and if he's gonna have time to do a challenge, that actually only leaves three trains. One to Etaple Le Toquet, one to Hasbrook, and one to Dunkirk. So let's look at those. Okay, alcohol acquired. All right, this is my spot. See, public tower. I guess I should get right to it, just to be extra sure. I got the extreme, extent, and intense strong beer. All right. Drinking in public, completed. Well, if we want to get to a tap play, that's, we have to go through Calais anyway. Oh, that sucks. Hasbrook is just back towards here. Hasbrook is on the train that we would be on to get to him. So he wouldn't do that. All right, um, it's starting to rain. So I'm gonna, while I finish eating, because I now can, since I completed the first challenge, I'm gonna pull another card. So I'm supposed to pull the top card. Uh-oh. We didn't mention this earlier, but this season we have a new type of card, curse cards. And I just pulled one. The name of your next town, city, or municipality that you disembark in cannot be longer than five letters. Okay. So there's a world where he goes to Dunkirk, and if he goes to Dunkirk, then we could cut him off in Dunkirk, potentially. Because we could go straight to Dunkirk and just say. But if he fakes us out, and we're stuck in Dunkirk, that would suck a lot. It's a big, I mean, it's a big risk, right? Could we get from Dunkirk somewhere else quickly? Like it? No, not really. Bit of a good news, bad news situation. Um, I haven't talked about this yet, but um, my plan was to go to Dunkirk yet next. D-U-N-K-I-R-K. -K. That kind of ruins that plan. It cannot be longer than five letters, so it can be five letters, but Dunkirk is six. Okay, so we've decided to go to Dunkirk. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're killing yeah. it. Dunkirk makes a lot of sense. Yeah. It would make so much sense to do. Like, I think he's gonna do Dunkirk. Oh uh, man, it's gonna be so sweet if he goes to Dunkirk. Yeah. Hello, it's me again. I'm still eating my lunch, but I just want to acknowledge Dunkirk is seven letters. I just realized that. Um, I know that. Not six. I'm smart. Well, if you want to see how much these guys just messed up, as you probably know by now if you're a longtime jet lag viewer, you can see the next episode, episode two, right now, if you go watch on Nebula. That's, of course, um, in appreciation for the fact that the Nebula subscribers are kind of the ones funding this show. But this season, it makes even more sense to be a Nebula subscriber because we're going to end the season but a long after show episode where we uh, you know, answer a lot of your questions, uh, dive deep into some of the strategy. But there's way more reason to subscribe to Nebula, like, for example, like Crime Spree, mm -hmm. our pilot idea. season of Jet Lag the Game, uh, where we chase Sam around the country while he tries to break the country's silliest laws. It was traumatic. It was, it was rough. This was the season before we figured out we needed rest periods. Yeah, this is the reason we have rest periods. <laughs> but also, what's crazy about Nebula is the best way to sign up for it is kind of an unbelievable deal in and of itself. Yeah, it's this bizarre thing where you can actually get access to Curiosity Stream and Nebula for less money than it takes to sign up for either of them. Curiosity Stream is an incredible documentary streaming service that has, among other things, an entire Wendover series called Extremities, a series that I worked on that 
is about why and how the most remote settlements in the world exist. If you like jet lag and you like travel, I really think you would enjoy Extremities. We're really proud of Extremities. We worked really hard on it and we think it's really good. This series literally could not exist financially without all of you Nebula Curiosity Stream bundle subscribers. It's only $15, well, actually it's slightly less than $15 for the entire year. It's a crazy deal. It's a crazy deal. good deal and yet you all really do help fund this channel. We know exactly this channel could not exist financially. It would not be profitable without you all. So it's really worth signing up because you also get all that other stuff. One week early uh, access to episodes, exclusive behind the scenes, you know, after show stuff, um, all sorts of other stuff from us, all sorts of stuff from other creators. It's a crazy good deal. So click the button on screen or head over to curiositystream.com slash jet lag today to sign up. <laughs> <laughs> thanks in advance thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. <laughs> you, you almost got it. I think it. we got to use that. Let's keep that. got to use that take.